Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the brand new road to the final promo. We're looking at every single card in packs, and we're going to rank them in a tier list. Let's do it. If you want to buy some cheap coins to pick up the best players on the game or buy loads of packs, head over to U7 Buy for cheap, reliable, and safe coins. Use code OSNOS for a big discount order. It helps both us out. Link is in the description. Also, if you are looking to buy cheap digital gift cards, games like FIFA 22 or even FIFA points at a very cheap price, check out Neba in the link in the description and use code OSNOSHD for a discount. So guys, here we go. If you haven't watched one of my tier lists before, this is how we do it. We have five rankings. We start with GOAT, greatest of all time. Then we have Elite, a really good little player. We have Decent, very decent player. We have Meh, he's all right. And then we have Woat, worst of all time you know the concept guys if you enjoy this video make sure you drop it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below road to 25k is on i'd love to see you guys join the channel and join the content anyway we've got a lot of cars to get through let's do this right we're gonna start with the europa league conference people we've got kamara let's have a little look at this card now just let you know the prices are from basically 20 minutes after the promo is released so it could be quite fresh yeah, it's an all right card uh, it's all right. I mean, 80 pace, dribbling, defending, physical, not too shabby. Three star, three star. Blech. I mean, guys, I'm going to put it in there. It's no surprise. It's, it could be decent, but at this stage of the game, that's looking meh. You know, that's looking there. Next, we have Christopher Smalling or Mike Schmarling, as a, a famous Manu manager once called him. Again, a good card. 80 pace, 87 defending, 87 physical. It's good. Um, I mean, aggression, strength, stamina, and jumping all in the nice green levels. Especially that strength and aggression is good. It's a good card. It is a good card. Has it blown my mind? No. It's all right. You know what? It goes in the bottom of decent for me. Bottom of decent. Next, we've got your boy, Jamie Vardy. Very interesting card. I mean, looks pretty decent to me. Only issue is his three-star skills. Um, but four-star weak foot is very nice. Great pace. Great shooting. He won't miss with that shot. Like, I mean, look at that. 97, 96, 93, 90. Brilliant card. Of course, Leicester are quite a good team in this competition. So, look like they'll progress quite far. So, for this card, I have to put him in higher um, than decent in smalling. Because he's gonna he's gonna definitely upgrade and get some good level cards. Whether they get to the final or not, we'll have to wait and see. But he's looking pretty decent. Moving on to the Europa League. First of all, we have Jared Bowen, a player who's absolutely tearing up at the moment. He's coming in really cheap, uh, and the reason why is three star weak foot. Not great. Um, I mean, his agility and balance is all right, high 80s. But at this point in the game, a card like this, even if they get quite far, is all right. I mean, it's all right. I'm actually going to put it meh. You know what? I mean, there's so many better wingers that you can get in this stage of the game. Next, we have Herving Lozano. This guy's card, in any any sort of his card, always absolutely ruins me. I think it's this inform here. Ruins me every time in foot champs. Brilliant card. The pace is electric. The shooting, really nice. Passing dribbling is what you want to see. Issue is that three-star weak for That's probably why he's only 70k about 20 minutes after release i would give him i'm gonna give him lower of decent i'll put him right between smalling and vardy it's a decent card it'll do you good stuff but that weak foot is not on next we have the gomez who has been one of my favorite cards in a lot of fifas only 50k for this card four star four star and he's got 90 pace 82 shooting 86 passing and 90 dribbling I think that's a bit offensive, I'm not going to lie. He looks pretty good. He, he's very similar to Fakir um, in a way. Just looks really, really smart. Nice six agility and balance. I don't know what everyone's on about with this price. This card is looking decent. And for that reason, it's going in top of decent. You know, actually, I'll put it I'll put it below Vardy. Vardy and Gomez looking very, very decent. Indeed, next, another decent card. Maybe an elite card. Ansu Fatih, a guy who's going to have an unbelievable future ahead of him. As you can see, this card's going for 880k. So it's been four star, four star. He's got the pace. He's got the really, really nice shooting. Volleys aren't high, but who really cares about that? Everything's looking bright and dandy for him. Guys, we're going to have our first elite card. That's an elite winger card. Four star, four star. Brilliant pace, brilliant shooting. You can't really complain with that. Next, we've got Ilicic. Um, the issue with Ilicic is really sad. He's always had a really nice card with some great attributes. I mean, he's got the he's got the five star, four star. Looks brilliant. It's just the pace lets him down, and also his low agility and balance. It's it's a really big shame, especially the low balance. He feels clunky in game, and even though he's got that, if you're a very skilled FIFA player that doesn't need pace boost, maybe could be all right. But sadly, no matter how good this card gets, you can't put him too high with that 
with those kind of things. So I'm gonna have to put him at bottom of decent. I'll put him. I'll put him set in bottom of decent because. If they do progress, he could be a fantastic card indeed. Next, we have Juan Cuadrado, of course, an ex-Chelsea player. I um, absolutely love the kid, um, although he wasn't too good at Chelsea. Again, this is a really end-game right-back card. Like, if you're looking at it, pace brilliant, um, the physicality great, and defending decent enough. Guys, this card's going to be great. I mean, he's really good every FIFA, and Juventus, who knows if they'll progress. They could have a good chance. I've tried this 85 in form. Very nice indeed. This 87 is going to be a really, really solid, decent right back i'm gonna put this third in the decent category we've got a lot of decent so far we are going bottom to top so that is probably why that will happen right next we have a man united alex tellers a very interesting one obviously one of the best prem left backs you can get now um manny uh, probably won't go too far in the competition because they're man new but nevertheless great pace really nice physicality and defending Three star, two star doesn't really matter on a fullback. Um, he's still looking brilliant. I mean, overall as a fullback, that is a fantastic card. You can't really complain about that. Shove some defending stat attribute stats on, and he's looking absolutely brilliant. I mean, that is just a really decent left back card. That's going quite high up for me. Him and Quadrado are quite level pegging there. Oh god, I've just seen who's next. It's Kim Pembe. 1.7 million it's saying he is that is an absolute joke i mean obviously his goal card's still one of the best center backs in the entire game let alone this card let alone he's at psg who are already looking like they might be through winning one nil in the first game absolute joke got i don't need to talk about it i don't need to talk about it as as much as this game goes this is a goat card i i hate that i have to say that but it is it is an unbelievable card and guys i don't even want to do this but the next card I think is looking good is Renato Sanchez. We have to take a little look at this card. This guy's um, uh, signature signing card is unbelievable. It's one of the best midfielders, if not the best midfielders non-icon in the game. Let alone this card. Oh my god. Imagine if Lille gets to the final or win the Champions League. We'll have the best midfield card of all time in any FIFA. Four star, four star. Pace is unbelievable. Shooting uh, is really nice. Passing and dribbling, especially the dribbling, is so nice. He's got really nice low center of gravity his physicality is a joke all above 90 oh guys i've just got two goats in a row we never see these in owen tier lists you never see them but we've got it anyway taliso is next an interesting player i have to say Cortin taliso i mean it's an all it's a hullet card it's a hullet card in fairness for about 150k issue is three star three star but i mean i'm gonna get far probably so this is gonna be a good card it's all right. You know what? It's all right. Uh, it's, it's good. It's a decent little number. We'll put you. We'll put you. We'll put you. In, I'll put you in decent, mate. You're very decent card. Next is Alexis Sanchez. Didn't expect him to get a card like this, but honestly, as a centre forward, the the issue is the three star weak foot, guys. That is the main issue. A lot of th skills and weak foot really mess these guys around. If this guy had four star, four star, he would be a lot more than 100k. Let me tell you that. Pace is great. Shooting is really nice. Agility bounce is fantastic. I would think about putting him elite if he did have the good, um, the good skills and weak foot. But sadly, he's going in the decent pile as well. We've got a lot of decents. Anyway, next is Lorente. Guys, this is looking like an absolutely sensational card. You can see why it's over a mil already. The pace is brilliant. The shooting is brilliant. The four-star, four-star, we love to see. Just everything's brilliant. He is one of, if not the most perfect box box midfielders you can get on FIFA 22. And for that reason, I have to put him in the elite category, just above Ansu Fati. Now, next up, we have my boy, Kai Havertz, with a Champions League card. And he won the Champions League for Chelsea. We absolutely love him. Now, obviously, I want to put him in GOAT. But we, let's have an actual think about it. Four-star, four-star. Lovely. Um, which actually is interesting. Because I think he is very, very left-footed. But he does. He should be three-star, in my opinion. But nevertheless, I take four-star, four-star. He's, he's got the pace. He's got the shooting. His agility and balance is a bit low. But if you like those tall kind of uh, attacking mids, like your Taliskas and players like that, it's not too bad at all. And yeah, passing physicality is pretty decent as well. You know what? He should be decent, but I'm a Chelsea fan and we're going to win the Champions League again. So I'm putting him elite. I don't care if you're angry. That's just that. Gareth Bale is next. A very exciting card. 825k only to start. Wow. Now, obviously, four star, four star, Gareth. Why is he so cheap? Four star, four star, Gareth Bale. Wow, that is that surprised me. Maybe because it was one of the first on the markets, they put it too cheap. But 93 pace, brilliant. 90 shooting, brilliant. 
passing, dribbling, brilliant. His balance is really low, which is weird. Um, you just play golf players to have good balance, if you know what I mean. And then physicality, looking pretty nice indeed. 73 stamina is not the one. Maybe it's the stamina and the balance that is letting this card down. Um, but yeah, actually, maybe that's letting me down. Maybe, actually, I'm, I'm going to have to give this this uh, Pedro a fresh. Oh, no, 600k. Wow. That surprised me. I'm gonna put him at. I'm gonna put him at top of decent. You know. No, I'm not. I'm gonna put him bottom of elite. Bottom of elite is very, very fair. And last, but certainly not the least, he's the best player in the world, Sadio Mane. Um, 1.6. We're looking for this fella. I mean, these two cards are absolutely brilliant when I've used them. Pace, fantastic. Four star, four star. Shooting's really nice. Dribbling, both above 90. Agility amounts. We love to see that. And yes, yeah, stamina of 90 and good aggression and strength for a, for an attacking mid. Delightful. I'm not going to lie. I'd, I'd convert this guy to a striker and you're looking pretty golden. And the fact that Liverpool are going to do pretty well in the Champions League, in my opinion, means that I'm going to be putting him uh, second in elites. I think I've done some really good rank rankings here, guys. Kimpembe and Renato goated. The elite levels are really, really good cards. Howitz and Bale could like go in between decent and elite. The decent cards are really good. Um, it's Ill Illicic and Smalling at the very bottom of decent. And then the mare cards, Bone and Kamara. You know what? Just so we have one in every category, Kamara can go woke because, I mean, whatever. It's just an absolute whatever card. Anyway, guys, drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Peace.